good people welcome to my youtube channel we told you guys we promised you that you're going to do a lot of videos and we are trying our level best to keep up okay so today i have another exciting video which is very educative okay so according to the title of this video uh i'm going to teach you some of the tips on how you can get pregnant if you have irregular periods and if you have fertility problems or let's say if you have you've been trying for a long time and you've not gotten pregnant yet children are a blessing from God we all want children I know it's a decision that sometimes when we ask women when we get to a certain age you feel like you want children but I know some of you I don't know most of you I don't know I've been trying to have a baby and so if you can have a baby maybe it's going to save your marriage if you can have a baby maybe it's going to save your relationship if you can have a baby it's gonna save your life yeah because like i said children are blessing from god and so for those of you who are trying don't give up i'm here to tell you that it's gonna happen anytime soon and I'm just going to share a few tips on how on how you can use I mean the I'm just going to share knowledge on what you can do in order for you to get pregnant okay so I just jump right into the video so, so uh, for some of us like for example Mimi Nilikwana irregular periods because uh, of I think change of weather na pia chakula zenya nakula yeah when I was in my village, Webuye, when I was home, my periods were okay. It's because in a flow every month. But when I came to Nairobi, after a few years, they look on a regular periods. Uh, you'll find that I can stay up to three months. Japata periods. Sometimes period in a whole month. Sometimes period haikuji. Sometimes in a vizuri. Yeah, there's so many factors. But I know if you have irregular periods, you will really know when you're ovulating. You will really know when to get pregnant. So I'm going to share a few tips on what you can do just to get pregnant. Okay, so I prepared a board. I have two boards, this one and the other one. The most important thing when you're planning to get pregnant is you stop having alcohol. Achana na pombe kabisa. Kama umeamua. Uh, there's one day in she died uh, irregular periods. Then I went to my OBG. When na can you a whisper? Do you take alcohol? Yes. Do you smoke shisha? Nikamamba, yes, I do smoke shisha. You know what he told me? Rispa, in the future, if you have to if you want to have a healthy baby, a healthy child who is functioning well a hundred percent, you need to stop drinking because you're planning to have a baby you need to stop smoking because you're planning to have a baby so i just decided to smoke stop smoking shisha kabisa you're drinking sikuacha but nili reduce niki kunywa pombe yangu i take a glass na kunywa na maji i take a glass na kunywa na maji okay so when you're starting when you are planning when the process to get pregnant what you need to do if is you start eating your fruits and vegetables Second thing, you buy the pregnant care. You go to the chemist. You ask for pregnant care pills, supplements. There is this one, Enyana Newell Baby. I think I'll show a photo. But there's this pregnant care. It's on folic acid. It's on vitamins. It's on isovituzote. So you start taking those drugs to prepare your body for the baby. And the most important part is tracking your days. Most women don't know how to track their days. Okay. Some women are so lucky. You just get, meet a guy, you start dating, you plan to have a child, you do it, and that's it. After three few weeks, you're pregnant. Some women are lucky, but kunawale when it's a struggle. Wamejaribu, wamefanya kila kitu. You spend so much money going to the hospital for fertility drugs. And also for uh, some of you have done IVF, but <coughs> there's no giving up, there's no losing hope because I have a few tips I'm going to share with you. Okay, so now, like I said, um, 
you need to know your ov your ovulation period time you need to know when you're ovulating and when is the right time for you to do it in order to get pregnant okay so i'm going i have a board here i have a chalk i'm going to show you how to count your days and how to know your safe days iso masikuzenya uneza pata mimba okay so we have ovulation period this is the time to get pregnant without stress and this is two weeks after your period or two weeks before the next period okay so now what you need to do you get a notebook and you write the days of the month from one up to 30. See, most moises in Akwagana 30 days. So you're going to write. I'm going to explain this in layman's language. So that's why I'm looking at my phone and also checking this because I want to make sure I tell you every detail in order for you to get pregnant. Okay. So how I'm going to show you how we, cal how we calculate your days. So ovulation period, this is two weeks after your period or two weeks before the next period. Okay, from the first day you see the blood of your period, pick up a calendar and count 15 days including the first day of the blood stain. Mark the 15th day with a pen. Mark three days before the 15th day and three days after the 15th day. You will notice you have seven days marked. Iso seven days the nyanta mark is on dosikuzako your your window for you to try and have a baby. So let's start. You write down days of the month from number one to thirty. So we're going to start to count from the first day. You see uh, the blood of your periods. Pick up a calendar and count fifteen days, including the first day of your period. Okay. So let's say my period starts on the first. Apa even though period zangu zime, it doesn't matter period zako zinaka how long. Kuna nyanaka seven days, five days, three days, one day. So you count 15 days from the first day umepata period yako. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then you circle the 15th day. You circle your 15th day like that. End of your 15th day. Ukisha circle your 15th day. Next step, um, mark three days before the 15th day and mark three days after the three after the 15th day. So you mark three days. I'll mark 14, 13, and 12. This is days before 15th. So I'll also mark three days after the 15th. One, two, three. So when counting, utaona ukona period ya seven days. So ni one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So kutokea pa tare twelve. Kutokea pa tare twelve. Mbaka tare eighteen. This is a chance for you to get pregnant. This one right here is a chance to get pregnant. So I'm going to repeat again in layman's language. What you need to do, you need to count your days so that you know you have to try in order for you to get pregnant. You take a, a notebook wandike chini from tare moja mpaka tare tati. So, let's say, so unanza kwesabu siku zako na siku yako ya kwanza kupata periods. Sasa mimi ni Rispa, nimepata period yangu on the first, yeah? So I'm going to count 15 days. So it doesn't matter kama period yako inakuja tare moja ama tare tano. Whichever date enya period itaanza, ndo utanza kukount. I know it's a lot of work. It sounds so complicated, but this thing works. So let's say me, period zangu zimanza tare one. I'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The 15th day, una circle. So from this 15th day, you count three days before and three days after, which is 12, 13, and 14, 16, 17, and 18, excuse me. Now, if you count these days, you're going to get seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Indo kazi yako, siku yako kuchapa job. Apa hivya kuna kulala, lazimo pige kazi. So, I'm going to show you how to pige kazi. So, uh, I hope Meshika is on the safe days. Is on, see safe days, is on the safe days. Is on the window period yako ya. Kupata mimba. All right. Yeah. So, after usha jua siku zako, and you're okay, 
So after ushajua siku zako na umeshika vizuri for me it took time for me to really get a hang of it but vile nilishika ilikuwa so easy So for me I was planning to get pregnant after my wedding and I got married in February and March April nikashika member So the first month I tried this technique it could happen I was so stressed I was so depressed I was so angry at myself but you know what I just told God let your will be done The next month March nika try technique na ika work Okay so now um on your last day of periods siku yako ya mwisho so leo tuseme periods zangu zimeisha tarehe moja leo periods zimeisha kesho asubuhi the second what you need to do you prepare this thing You take one tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda in our local supermarket. It's only 30 bob Kenya shillings. One cup of milk, maziwa. Two bananas, ndizi mbili, mbogo ya. Na two eggs, not cooked, mbichi, mayai mbichi. So, one tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda. One cup of milk, two bananas, na two eggs. So hiyo siku yenye umemaliza periods the next day very early in the morning kabla hujakula anything blend this thing together na ukunywe hiyo cup mimi nili blend na nikafunga tu mapwa na nikaikunywa ukaikunywa this thing i mean e concussion i'll call it concussion inasaidia ku flush out toxics in the body for example kama umekuwa unatumia family planning hizo mapitu ziko na so many side effects nini nini maybe bado iko kwa blood na hiyo ndio inafanya mtoto aingi so you have to drink this in it's just like cleansing detoxing your apple chain una detox womb una detox hizo vitu zote just to prepare yourself for the baby so when all this is happening you 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 with your pregnant care so if you can't afford to buy the pregnant care it's not a mass Make sure you just eat healthy. Kula mboga, kula matunda, kula nini, kula nini. Okay. So, hapa hivi, hizi siku 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Imagine you can have sex all these days. Yes, you can have sex all these days. And I learned that somebody came to my shop one day, uh, sister Faisal, and then she gave me a, a trick na nikaifa Like, uh, this idea so this is what happened uh you know when you're having sex and immediately after doing the job uki mama sperm zinatoka so it means hizo sperm hazijatembea hazijafika huko kwa mayai hazija meet i'm not a doctor i'm not a scientist but this is just the best to my knowledge Oh what I'm not saying my rispa oh you're wrong you're wrong but this is me I know the technique most people are metumia na imewasaidia so when having sex on these days what you need to do you have sex at night usiku tuseme umemaliza kojo usiku when you just when umemaliza tile mkojo wako ya mwisho kabisa ushakojoa unaenda kwa bed and then you engage your partner unaongea na yeye vizuri unampatia maana mazuri and then you engage in the sex after the sex don't go to the toilet don't go to the toilet and don't laugh uchukua miguu zako zieke hivi kwa kutaju as in umelala hivi kwa bed make sure miguu zako ziko raised up in the walls to help the sperms travel to the eggs so that it fertilizes mnanielewa Easy siku when having sex do it at night usiku after shako joa ukishamaliza ku have sex weka miguu zako juu at least for 25 minutes after that lala utaenda kujua asubuhi so ina saidia sperms ku travel so you only have seven days to do that in the next two weeks utapata period zako and you'll take a pregnancy strip and you may uh, na upime utapata uko pregnant this might not work to some of you okay this might not work to some of you but i know so many people if you go to facebook uangalie your fertility place is of it is okay so many people have tried doing this and it, it has really worked kwa sababu most of us women we don't know how to count our days 
kukaunti masiku ndo shida but as long as unajua kukaunt your days na una follow vile mimi nimekwambia imagine utashika mimba utashika mimba na itaingia and you be very happy so the last day hapa hivi umemaliza period zako the next morning usikunywe kitu meza tu mate enda jikoni blend everything you see here blend everything you see here and after blending ukunywe kunywe yote usibakishe one cup full maliza hii yote yeah so um also you need to keep a positive mind mindset lazima keep a positive mindset just tell yourself i'm going to get pregnant but don't overthink if you overthink pia itaingia kwa sababu mimba itakani stress inataka tu kuwe calm kuwe relax don't overthink anything just yani tu fikiria tu mazuri utakuwa na mtoto bila tafanana itakuwa raha vitu kama hizo but usi overthink oh what if i don't get pregnant what will happen if you don't get pregnant this month we can try it the next month it's all about trial and just alafu another thing is pray you go on your knees if you don't know how to pray go to youtube and type prayer for foot of the womb omba mungu piga magoti au ji kuomba soma hizo vitu zinazitakuja kwa youtube prayer of the womb oh lord please bless my womb bless me with a child bless this home with a child Oh Lord omba 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 because God always answers prayers. You can do everything you see here but if you don't have faith in God nothing will happen. Yeah, so it's all about having faith in God and doing the right thing. The right thing ni hapa. So I hope this video is going to help someone. You pray. Make sure you pray. You also engage your partner. Don't stress your partner. Kwa hii process ya kunini ya kushika mimba usim stress. Oh baby, kuja tufanye. Oh baby, no. Mambi, explain to them, baby, this is what is going to happen so that akwe psychologically prepared. This is what is going to happen. We're going to have sex from this day 12, 13, evo, evo. Just try. Na just pumps zinaka kwa mwili kama 3 days before the fertilize so for me nge prefer what's wrong with having sex every day there's nothing wrong so you can just try <coughs> excuse me you can just try every day there's no harm every day for seven days ama yeah kama amekuwa na kunyima the whole month hizo siku saba alipie anyway i hope this video may say dear mtu <coughs> sorry excuse me baridi i hope this video is going to help someone and i'm hoping that one day in a few months to come i'm going to receive a text or i'm going to get a comment on the comment section down below that one of you has gotten pregnant through this process <coughs> excuse me like i said i'm not a doctor i'm not a scientist we just share from <coughs> <coughs> excuse me we just share from experience so yeah in the some of the ways some of the ways what wanafanya which is very akuna i mean you you're not going to spend any money here you're just going to spend money on the bananas and the milk and the bicarbonate of soda and all this maybe it's going to cost you 100 bob kenya shillings yeah so so for those of you who are trying for a baby for a long time na me it's been a struggle i just pray that you're going to get the fruit of the womb by trying this process and it has idea it's going to save you it's going to save your marriage or your relationship okay so i don't know about kupata mtoto msichana kupata mtoto mvulana it doesn't matter a baby is a baby as long as it's healthy uko na mvulana wa 10 it's a baby uko na msichana wa 10 it's a baby if god ame ku bless na msichana na mvulana that's good but whichever comes first we just appreciate We just thank God for a healthy baby. Yeah, so thank you guys. I hope ni msaidia mtu. I hope don't feel ashamed to talk about it. Don't feel ashamed kuifanya. Hata watu atakuangalia vibaya. No. Talk to your partner, m discuss this so that ajue akikona umeka miguu kwa ukuta on these days anashangaa eh what's happening kumbe you're just trying to get a baby. Yeah, so 
make sure you like this video share and subscribe to my youtube channel share it with your friends don't lose hope pray to god never lose hope never never lose hope <coughs> and <coughs> in the next few months like i said in the next few months i'm going to receive a text or somebody will just write to me on my comment section or somebody will just write to me on my instagram and tell me reads but hey i got in, I, i've got pregnant through the process and i'm really happy okay i'm going to say a, a, a prayer for somebody who is trying for a baby and then we close this video heavenly father we come unto you we want to say thank you for this day i pray for that lady who is trying for a baby that they receive a fruit of the womb in the mighty name of jesus christ i do trust believe and pray amen i love you guys stay safe Mwah.